If you guys would like to win this free iPhone 8, all you guys have to do is follow these simple rules. All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment down below saying you subscribed and you'll be entered to win at the end of the month. Yo, what is going on guys? It is District Training here bringing you guys this brand new video. Now today guys, we're going to be talking about 5 reasons why Lil Uzi Vert gets hate in the rap industry. Now before I do, I gotta give the notification shout out that is going to this guy right here on the screen. If you guys would like a channel notification shout out at the start of my next video to gain new subscribers, all you guys have to do is leave a like on the video, turn on channel notifications, and then leave a comment down below of something you like about Lil Uzi Vert. Now before I say anything in this video, I just want to point out that this is by no means a hate video towards Lil Uzi Vert at all. Uzi is definitely one of my favorite music artists, and if you are a a fan of him just like I am make sure you leave a like on this video I want to see how many people are a fan of him that are watching this and even if you don't like Lil Uzi Vert still leave a like on the video and then comment down below why you don't like him so a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm making this video if I do if I am a fan of Lil Uzi Vert and that's because I do a series on my channel where I talk about reasons why people hate a certain rapper everybody was requesting to do Lil Uzi Vert so I decided to make the video and I was actually surprised about the things Lil Uzi Vert actually gets hate for he gets hate for the dumbest things and I found five reasons why he gets hate through comments and internet articles so trust me you guys are gonna want to hear these reasons so make sure you guys watch the entire video because you won't believe the number one reason why he gets hate so in case you don't know much about Lil Uzi Vert he is a 23 year old rapper from North Philly he dropped many songs that went viral and took the music industry by storm some songs being EXO tour life and collaborating with the Migos on Bad and Bougie Lil Uzi Vert has been making music for many many years now but just recently started blowing up especially Especially with the help from the double XL fresh class now that you know a little bit about Lil Uzi Vert let's get right into the five reasons why he gets hate so starting at the number five spot it's because he likes to wear a choker now I found this extremely dumb but people actually hate on him and call him names for such a thing as wearing a diamond choker around his neck now his reasoning for wearing a choker is and I quote I have so many necklaces from long chains to short chains so wearing a choker is the shortest it can get wearing a ton of chains makes me feel kind of like a king so if you know anything about Lil Uzi Vert, you would definitely know that he loves to be different and there's nothing wrong with that. Nowadays you'll see legit clones doing the exact same rap music and wearing the same clothes and everything and honestly I don't understand how it doesn't get boring for all of you guys. Personally I love the way Lil Uzi Vert expresses himself especially through his chains. When Lil Uzi Vert was just a young boy starting to make music, he looked up to a couple artists but he looked up to primarily Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson definitely loved to be different and I'm pretty sure that's where Lil Uzi Vert gets it from. And Lil Uzi Vert went even as far as to get a hundred thousand dollar chain of Marilyn Manson made to wear around his neck. Now that is very cool, I'll have a picture up of the chain in case you guys have never seen it before. If you guys were wear that chain let me know down in the comments below it's a look it's a pretty sick chain but I don't know if I would wear it around because you know it's a hundred thousand dollars so starting at the number four spot on why he gets hate and this is kind of like weird but this is just the way he dresses as I said I kind of find this one a little weird but trust me the next three reasons are very interesting but lots of people don't like the way he dresses for some reason personally I kind of like how he dresses it's definitely different and he likes that when I was finding these facts believe it or not this reason why he gets hate is a very large topic in forums and stuff like that people say why does he dress homeless and why does he spend so much money on designer clothes now the whole dressing homeless with the holes in the clothes thing I don't really understand that whole trend but Uzi likes the style of it so why knock him for wanting to dress a certain way and then the whole spending so much money on designer clothes I'm pretty sure you guys are probably primarily talking about the designer clothing off-white now lots of people probably don't know this or just don't really care that much but Lil Uzi Vert is really good friends with the creator of off-white Virgil Abloh I'm I'm pretty sure that's how you say his name I'm not really 100% sure so if I said that wrong I'm sorry but yeah those two are actually very good friends and Virgil actually sponsored the music video for EXO Tour Life. He even co-directed it, so that is another thing too. They're really good friends, so I would honestly see that he probably gets off-white clothes for free. Because Lil Uzi Vert definitely has many outfits, as you guys can see. I don't honestly ever see him wear something twice, so he definitely has a lot of clothes, but I couldn't see him spending full price on every single piece of outfit he has. At least probably gets a discount, if not free, but either way, he does have a lot of clothes, 
and yeah sure if you have the money why not go spend it all on clothes if you want but make sure you just still have some left over which he probably does so that was kind of a dumb reason why to hate him but people do hate on him for how he dresses for some reason so now the number three spot Lil Uzi Vert says yeah and uh of too much in his music now this is a thing that goes on with many rappers especially with the new generation of rappers where they always say yeah and uh in their music but as Lil Uzi Vert said in an interview he said when you use yeah in a song it's easier to go off with. It's easier to put two lines together with saying yeah in between the lines and it just sounds better. Now in my opinion, I'm gonna have to agree with Lil Vert on this because he's not rapping really fast. The way Lil Vert makes his music, it does honestly fit in perfectly when he says like yeah inside the songs. When he's making his music, he isn't rapping like super fast like how Eminem and Busta Rhymes would. It's more of like a chill vibe with good beats. I'm actually very curious to know what you guys think about this whole situation because it kind of seems like there's two groups. There's a group that hates the new generation of rappers and then there's a group that loves it. So let me know what group you guys are in down in the comments below. Honestly, I'm, I really kind of like the new style. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Like especially when I'm in the gym, I don't want to be like listening to something that has very deep lyrics because then it kind of might throw me off in the gym and I might not want to work out anymore because it's all like serious and whatever. But then when I'm listening to something with like a good beat, good tempo, and not like that much lyrics, but there is a lot of good beats in it, it does pump me up and it keeps me going. But anyways, that's just my personal preference. Let me know what you guys think down below. Now the number two spot, Lil Uzi Vert gets hate because he kind of comes off as a devil worshipper. Now let me break this whole thing down for you guys because XXXTentacion is kind of doing the exact same thing. Now everybody knows it's very hard to get noticed in the rap industry and you need to do some things to make you stand out from the rest. Now a way of doing this is kind of acting weird with like satanic references and things like that. Now X kind of relates to this as well and that's why him and Lil Uzi Vert are pretty much the fastest growing artists in 2017. Everyone else is just kind of the same thing, doing the same thing, rapping about the same thing, dressing the same, they're just doing the exact same thing and yeah they are growing but they might die down soon. Now these two are definitely doing different things and different things outside the studio. Now just to do a quick example for you guys, say a news reporter saw Lil Uzi Vert somewhere and he just just pulled out a wad of cash for the picture for the news article. Sure people would probably talk about it for just like a day or so and maybe three other news articles will hop on the trend just because maybe it's a slow news day or whatever. And yeah his name will be kind of blowing up just for like a little bit probably like two hours for that article. But now if he does something weird and satanic like how like he does like a hand motion or maybe he's reading a book of some sort and then a news reporter snaps a picture of that and then talks about how he could be satanic which has been done in the past. Now if he does something weird like a satanic type thing where he's reading some satanic type of book or just something weird in general it would be different because people would be talking about his name for weeks and then with people talking about his name for weeks his numbers on his songs will go up his instagram followers will go up everything will go up all of his numbers will go up because his name is being trended worldwide on twitter most likely it'll be going on instagram a ton of news outlets online the, his name will just be trending so that's why you don't really see Lil Vert throwing around cash just like every other rapper because that was only just a little bit of clout that can get you but if you do something very weird that like not lots of people like to do your name will be talked about for weeks all right guys so starting at the number one spot on why Lil Uzi Vert gets hate. Now many people, especially the older hip hop lovers, hate him for this. But the reason is also kind of irrelevant to be honest, but people hate on him because he can't freestyle. Now everybody says rappers should be able to freestyle off the top of their head at any time of the day, but the only problem is Lil Uzi Vert not being able to freestyle is that he doesn't even think of himself as a rapper. If you've watched any interview of Lil Uzi Vert, you would clearly see himself say that he's not a rapper, but he all he likes to be known as a rock star. He likes to be known as a rock star and not a rapper because rappers have different type of personalities and rappers are usually more on the bad side of crime. Uzi said in an interview, I want to live like a rock star and not a rapper. And this just kind of brings me back to the number three spot where people always hate on Lil Uzi Vert for saying yeah and too much in his music. And and that's because he doesn't sing fast just like rappers would. Rappers like to sing fast and Uzi doesn't like to sing fast so he doesn't really claim himself as a rapper but he claims himself more as a rock star. Now if you guys enjoyed this video in any way, please leave a like on the video, share the video on Twitter, make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter. If I see you guys share the video on Twitter, I'll be sure to follow you and talk to you in the DMs. I also, help, I also provide a YouTube help service, so if you guys would like any YouTube help, all you guys have to do is go hit me up on Twitter. Anyways guys, it's been District Trending, I'm out, peace.